Okay, we have the receipts. Jaclyn Hill is allegedly doing lipsticks again. Let me show you what I have right in front of me. So on Jaclyn Hill's Instagram account, she posted this. That looks like lipsticks to me. Now, there's some verbiage that goes with it. And I'm gonna read to you what it says so that we're all, that way we're on the same page. Cause I wanna be like, you guys made it up for views. Right here, it says Jacqueline. Okay, then it says no added fragrance. Mm -hmm. No parabens. And then it says no sulfates. Six shades, $25 USD. Clues, $25 USD, six shades, no added fragrance, no parabens. She might as well throw in there gluten-free girl, no sulfate, cruelty-free, there's eight shades. What could it be? So, but before I start into that, I wanna say this video is sponsored at the house by adamneve.com. Thank you, adamneve.com for sponsoring this video. I love you guys so much. And don't forget, you can check out adamneve.com and use code LUX, L-U-X, for 50% off plus free shipping in the United States and Canada. And a portion of the proceeds goes to help fight and find a cure for HIV and AIDS. So thank you, adamneve.com, for sponsoring this video. Let's get on with the drama. Now, some people are speculating that it could be blush, and some people are speculating that it could be lipsticks. I'm thinking it's lipsticks because if you look very care carefully, she blocked me, and she blocked other drama channels, and I feel like she's blocking people who tend to just be like, oh, Jacqueline Hill is doing this again. It, that's just what I think. Now, there's more to this story, and it's very sneaky, and it's almost like we have to hunt for it. So, Jacqueline Hill, I have the receipt right here. She posted this, and in the bottom here, I'm gonna read to you what it says. It says, I've been waiting for this day, girl, for so long you guys. We started developing these so long ago. What do you think it is? What do you think it is? And then it says follow our social media to, you know, get clues. So if you're following Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics, it drops a little clue to their TikTok. It drops a little clue. It's very, and it's like, it's the same thing. So there's no really like new tea. That's so why I'm not showing it to you. But it's just, it's very much that with the red and it's going up and down. I think it's lipsticks. And I think that Jack Hill doesn't want people to know that. Um, and it looks like some type of like paint. I'm not ask girl. James Charles, we talked about this the other day. Looks like he's coming out with paint too. We have those photos. He's been secretly doing things too. That girl. I'm seeing how these people are moving. And what's so interesting about it is who's gonna support who, you know? Like if, if you know, if Jaclyn Hill releases something new, I'm sure Jeffree Star might review it. We know Michaela's gonna review it. But if James Charles drops something new because he's been hinting his new makeup line, you know, who's gonna review that? I know Jeffree Star ain't gonna review it. Tano Tati Westbrook ain't gonna review, review it. Neither is Jane Dawson. So I'm, I'm asking myself, who's gonna review what? And it's very interesting to see who's choosing sides and who's gonna do this. And I'm gonna review Jaclyn Hill's makeup, girl. I'm unbiased. I'm not like Jeffree Star who's gonna get something and be like, oh, they're a bully, uh, and then throw that away. So let's not forget Jeffree Star uh, got Hailey Bieber's makeup line and threw that in the trash. Remember that? I think I have the clip here. Uh, hi guys, this came in the mail. So I just got back from Paris. I've been catching up here at the Star Yak Ranch and life has been really busy. So we are fully back to reviewing makeup and this came in the mail. Okay, so the packaging is so boring. And then I open it up and girl, she literally looks like she wants to die. Like focus. Oh my God, that face is like, why did I do this? Why did I create a skincare brand? So when you're privileged and you use daddy's money and you've never worked a day in your life, I guess this is what we're doing. Okay, you guys, I don't even know what to say. This is so boring. I'm not even trying to be funny for once. This is what she's giving. In this house, we are team Selena and we are team not bullying anyone. So we're gonna skip today's review. Wait, 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 wait. She doesn't even deserve a pink trash can. And just like Shawn Mendes said, bye. And then he turned around within the same breath, girl. Then he turned around and reviewed 
Selena Gomez makeup and this is where the big debate starts because let me roll you the clip because I find it interesting that Jeffrey's not reviewing Hailey Bieber and he's a good reviewer he keeps it honest but I feel like it would have been better if he more controversial and more views and clicks if Jeffree Star would have sat down to review Hailey Bieber's makeup line and say look listen I know y'all don't like her I know she's in drama Let's talk a little bit about the drama. She did this, she did that. Let me see, mm -mm -mm, don't like this, I like that, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, even if I like these products here, her reputation might cause people not to buy it. Because, they, I mean, come on, you see one blush, you see them all. So what stops you from buying that blush? You have to buy things that you believe in, the people that you believe in or that you like. That makes sense to you? And so I think that Jeffree Star did himself a disservice when, although it was shady and he threw the makeup away, but let me roll you his Selena Gomez review that he did, which I think he did very, very good. I think he kept it real and honest, but let's just be, let's just be real. He was riding the wave. Everybody wanted to see what he thought about it. And he drum up some drama and people were all waiting to watch. And I'm gonna read you some of the hottest comments when we get back. Here we go, roll it. Well, hello everyone, happy Sunday. It's the Lord's day and I thought it was finally time to sit down and review Selena Gomez's brand, Rare Beauty. I have it all in front of me. This is probably gonna be a three-parter bitch because there's a lot of products, but I've never tried it. Now, Selena Gomez launched Rare Beauty during the pandemic, it was September 2020. Girl, I was so over the beauty community. I was over makeup. And honestly, I didn't care. I thought it was just another celebrity putting out a brand and I was like, oh. but baby, she's put in the work. I've watched this brand evolve. Now, I've actually never tried the formulas. I know that's shocking. I've never tried it. What is Rare Beauty giving? I have no idea. Um, I like the message behind it. I love that it's not just another celebrity brand just trying to cash in. She actually cares. There's a really cool message behind the brand. Um, and yeah, so without further ado, let's try these products. I bought as much as I could um, that was in stock. So this is her primer. It's called the Always an Optimist Base. It's supposed to blur and make my pores go by. So let's see if they're gonna go bye-bye. Ooh, it actually feels really nice. I thought it was gonna be like really like weird feeling, but Ooh, okay, primer. Now I did already moisturize my skin with my own moisturizer. How do we feel? Quick disclaimer, my dumbass forgot the Rare Beauty foundation at my hotel room in Paris last week. I really can't make that up. So we're putting in a little La Mer and then we're gonna try all the liquid products, bitch. The famous blush, the new luminizer. Bitch, get on my face. It's time to try my second product. This is the Rare Beauty Concealer, the Liquid Touch Corrector. Baby, this is gonna give me moisturizing, buildable concealer that melts seamlessly into my skin for an undetectable, cake-free coverage. Okay, let's see what this is giving. Ooh, I like the applicator. Now, I didn't go for a really crazy shade because I didn't want it to be too light. Let's just go small and see what happens. Oh, baby, I could already tell she's luminous. The f that's pretty. Oh, this is really nice. This is no concealer. This is concealer. All right. Okay, so let's talk about some of the comments here that people were leaving on, on Miss Jeffree Star's Instagram. So here we go. First comment. I'm shocked. Not only is he not using a beauty filter, but he's also not using beauty light. He usually very well lit, but in this video, you can see the pores by his nose. You can see the wrinkles on his forehead and all that texture of his skin. I love it. This is a real review. And that's interesting because, you know, a lot of people on TikTok, they tend to put a little filter on and review stuff. Here we go. I love that you can really see his face in this review. It actually helps a lot to see how it will look on natural skin. Jeffrey's always 100% honest on his reviews. He can't be bought out and wouldn't say he liked it just because it's Selena's brand. Which I feel like a lot of people are doing that. A lot of people are saying they like something just because it's like the popular thing to do. But here's another receipt. He knows he's riding the wave, but honestly, he's not wrong. 
Rare Beauty is so objectively good and Selena does really care. It's really natural glow from within vibes. I feel like her brand is giving clean girl. He honestly wouldn't done more damage if he had actually reviewed it and said it was trash instead of not using it and dumping it in the trash or something like that. The irony of calling someone a bully while being a bully is nice. And, there, and that's in reference to him reviewing the Hailey Bieber. I think it's Road Skin or something like that. And I don't really, I, you know what? <laughs> Road Skin, in my opinion, was already hanging it on by a thread. Um, there's a video, I, I'll, I'll show you the little like receipt if I can find it. It's of um, Morgan Adams, uh, I think her second channel. Uh, she's reviewing, Morgan Adams is reviewing the road skin. It like burned her face. And she's, she's like all these redness or whatever. And most likely she probably put a little bit too on or left it on too, too long and didn't wash it off. That happened to me with the La Mer Micro Serum. Um, it was like three, four hundred dollars, and I put a little bit on. I put it like that, left it on. I thought I was supposed to leave it on, but I guess you're supposed to wash it off, but it ended up just burning my skin. I had a, a huge, like, red thing, allergic reaction. It went away in a couple days, and fine, but my skin actually did look really good after that, I will say that. Even though I did get a burn, it actually did look bad. It was kind of like, uh, whatever. But, you know, when it comes to skincare and makeup, I think it really is. I think it's a lot of the same. And you are just really buying into the brand and the packaging at that. And just because it's super expensive doesn't mean it's great either. But anyways, I really wanna know what you guys think about all that drama in the comments down below. And um, I'll, be, I'll be waiting and I'll be reading your comments to see what you guys have to say. So if anything else, do you think that Jaclyn Hill is coming out with lipsticks? If you think she's coming out with lipsticks, let me know in the comments because I'm gonna be reading your comments and I really wanna know. Because if she is, I'm gonna review them the house, girl. I am. I can't wait. I, I really want to know. Like, it's so, so, didn't she just drop something? Like, like, right when Morphe, like, filed for bankruptcy or something, she, like, dropped something around that time? Like, a new something? And then here we are again, and then she, it's, it's pump, 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 you know? And now her bronzers are 50% off at Ulta right now due to the Ulta sale. I might pick me up one of those. I'm saying, listen, I, listen, I'm a coupon queen. I know a good deal when I see it. When that James Charles makeup palette, uh, with all that drama went went on sale for like five five bucks, I bought it at the house. And I and, and we had a, everybody got that palette for Christmas. I bought a whole bunch. But anyway, let me know what you think of all that drama in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, I love you so much.